When anybody who thinks that blues are old, wrinkly guys, think again, because we got here the Blues Carry Van 2011 on stage. They went over stage and they are ready now. They hear Cassie Taylor, Danny Wilde, Samantha Fish. First of all, girls, how did you, was the gig on stage? It was awesome. Yeah, really brilliant. Good fun. Great <laughs> First of all, how's that come along? Oh, um, well, I mean, the covers that we did, uh, I mean, we kind of talked about that when we did the pre-production in Kansas City. Um, a lot of that's on our record, you know, like Bitch and Jet Airliner. Um, but then, you know, it's just our own, we each bring original tunes to the mix and we just back each other. And that's how that set list comes about. Not any problems with the girls who, who wants to do have the the solo oh no we have that all figured out yeah we, <laughs> we take in turns we share we compromise it works out just fine this is a blues festival uh, what you played is not all blues it's all or even in the rock style or uh, a cappella song as you did uh, sort of thing. Smell of here are the bodies for the sun to rot, for the rain to gather, for the wind to sound, for the sun to rot, for the tree to grow, southern trees never stray and bitter. Yes! Yeah. What's your opinion about blues and rock? Well, what is the blues? I mean, it's interesting because a lot of people define the blues as a 12 bar, 1, 4, 5 structure, but uh, it's actually the blues started with the plight of the African American people, and it's more of a feeling and an emotion than a structured uh, sediment for uh, a musical genre. So I think that we really have to start opening up our minds to more diversifying the music as opposed to closing it off uh, to just be one thing, because the blues is just really somebody being in pain and everyone can relate to that. Especially, and I especially ask you because you just told us you are in the board of directors of the Blues Foundation. That's a heavy job on your shoulders. How you cope with that? Well, um, I, I just got involved to kind of help um, the Blues Foundation get a younger audience and so we've started some programs. We have the Youth Scholarship uh, initiative so that um, kids from around the world can apply for funds to go to workshops and we have free youth memberships for ages 14 to 21 and so my job is just to do outreach and try and get as many people involved with the blues as I possibly can. Solar projects uh, along the Blues Caravan you do. Um, how's that going? Yeah, good. Um, my second album release for Roof Records, which is called Shine, was released um, last summer. So I've been touring um, Europe a lot with my own band promoting that. Um, and yeah, it's just had a good response. Um, my release Runaway just uh, actually, we started 
selling it about three gigs ago, so it just literally came out, um, and I'm really excited to see how it does, and I'm excited to play all the songs on the record. Uh, and I just released my freshman debut uh, entitled Blue off of DMD, and it's a lot more singer-songwritery um, than tonight's show, but I think it'll, it'll be an interesting mix of uh, blues and rock and jazz, so I'm excited about it. What do you want to achieve in, uh, in the music business? Each one of you. World domination! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, one world domination. Oh, I want to go as far as I can take it. You know, I want to, I really want to just see how far I can go with it. Net. <laughs> it's the truth, though. I mean, I, I want to succeed. I want to excel. Um, and I just want to see how far I can go with it. You know, I think that's what we all want. Um, I mean, I've been using music um, for a while as a way of fundraising for children in Africa um, and generally the, the more I push with my career, the more people I get in front of and get to perform to, the more I can also spread the word about the work I'm doing in Kenya with, with children in the slums and trying to improve education for them. So for me, yeah, it comes hand in hand. I want to try and, you know, get in front of more audiences um, to to, to play music, but also to try and raise more funding for important projects in Africa. Oh, that's a good thing. Last question, but probably the most difficult one. What does attract you the most in the blues and, and, and the rock you're, you're playing in the music? My dad made me do it. <laughs> uh, my father is uh, an American blues man by the name of Otis Taylor and he kind of uh, dragged me into it and I didn't want to do it because I was in high school and you know it was like I don't want to be in a band with my dad but uh, it ended up being a really um, special and important thing in my life that I could share with him. Um, for me I mean I always wanted to, to sing um, ever since I was very very young. Um, when I was a teenager I started going to blues festivals and that was when I first saw young contemporary female blues artists like Deborah Coleman, Sue Foley, um, Shamika Copeland, Susan Tedeschi and then I thought yeah I want to wanna do what they're doing. So, um, I started playing the guitar when I was a teenager um, and it just it really is the only thing I've ever really wanted to do after that and I mean I don't know it's just you know it calls to you it's something that called to me you know, back then, and it still does to me now, so that's why I do it. It's good to see you, though.